July 20th, Dependent on God's Presence Those who wait on the Lord shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, verse 31 There is no thrill for us in walking, yet it is the test for all our steady and enduring qualities. To walk and not faint is the highest stretch possible as a measure of strength. The word walk is used in the Bible to express the person of character. John, looking at Jesus as he walked, said, Behold the Lamb of God. John 1, verses 35-36 There is nothing abstract or obscure in the Bible. Everything is vivid and real. God does not say, Be spiritual, but He says, Walk before me. Genesis 17, verse 1 When we are in an unhealthy condition, either physically or emotionally, we always look for thrills in life. In our physical life, this leads to our efforts to counterfeit the work of the Holy Spirit. In our emotional life, it leads to obsessions and to the destruction of our morality. In our spiritual life, if we insist on pursuing only thrills, on mounting up with wings like eagles, Isaiah 40 verse 31, it will result in the destruction of our spirituality. Having the reality of God's presence is not dependent on our being in a particular circumstance or place, but is only dependent on our determination to keep the Lord before us continually. Our problems arise when we refuse to place our trust in the reality of His presence. The experience of the psalmist speaks of, the experience the psalmist speaks of, we will not fear, even though, Psalm 46 verse 2, will be ours once we are grounded on the truth of the reality of God's presence. Not just a simple awareness of it, but an understanding of the reality of it. Then we will exclaim, He has been here all the time. At critical moments in our lives, it is necessary to ask God for guidance. But it should be unnecessary to be constantly saying, O Lord, direct me in this and in that. Of course He will, and in fact, He is doing it already. If our everyday decisions are not according to His will, He will press through them, bringing restraint to our spirit. Then we must be quiet and wait for the direction of His presence.